This is an SAT. This is an ACT. What are the differences? At first glance, they're fairly significant, and in another video, we talk about that. But to those who dig in and really study, ideally with a tutor, with a good program to master, you find very few significant differences after studying. Both tests are going to help, or studying for both tests. With study, you'll find the following similarities. Both have similar reasoning skills needed for math. Both has, have similar reading skills needed for verbal. Both have similar test-taking skills. Both have similar time management skills. And once students really get into the study, they learn that they don't have to know knowledge. They have to reason from new material. They also know not to freak out if something from way outside the box hits them on test day. That comes in part with seeing a lot of material. It comes in part from practice testing under time conditions. When you study for one well, you almost certainly can study for the other well without much extra effort. We typically ask our ACT students to do five to 10 more hours for the SAT. Not a lot, a few extra practice tests as well, and you should then be on top of both. We'll talk about what both gets you next, but first, I want to say how similar they have become since the 2016 change, by the way. In 2016, a little before actually, the college board, makers of the SAT, really decided they wanted to mimic a good portion of ACT. They hired people from the ACT development to build up their own test. And thus, the similarities since 2016 are very stark. If you had an older sibling or parents who took it before 2016, the differences were big. If you saw a video from us, we back in 2015 and earlier suggested take one, not both. No longer. Because of the similarities, studying for both has a double reward. Physically, if they're about the same length. ACT is five minutes shorter. Physically, you have multiple choice sections first, then there's an experimental section, and then there it, it doesn't count. And then there's an optional, meaning you can stay or you can leave, an essay that each test offers. They're offered on Saturday mornings on different weekends, so kids can easily take both. They are offered in many states in schools, but yet to have one state that has adopted in-school testing for both SAT and ACT. I think it's coming, but for now, the in-school test is kind of gravy. It's the Saturday morning test that you can be really banking on. All right, we will talk next about the importance of both ACT and SAT. Thanks for listening. I'm Mark Greenstein for Ivy Bound.